Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are having one very interesting question from sequence and series. A n plus one equal to one over one plus one over a n, where n is one comma two comma three up to two thousand eight. A one is one. Then we have to evaluate this sum a one a two plus a two a three plus a three a four up to a two thousand eight times a two thousand nine. So let's get started by considering this equal to s. This sum we will call s. Now let's begin with our formula. A n plus one. It is equal to one over one plus one over a n. Now I will take LCM in the denominator. So I can write one over a n. Plus one divided by a. Further, we can write a n divided by a n plus one. So a n plus one is equal to a n over a n plus one. Now let's cross multiply a n plus one times a n. Plus one. This will be equal to a n. Now I will expand. So I will be writing a n plus one times a n plus a n plus one equal to a n. Take away a n plus one from both sides. So a n plus one. Times a n, it will be equal to a n minus a n plus one. Now, if I will calculate a one, a two, a two, a three, and so on from this sum expression, let me write here a one, a two. So, using this formula, I can write this value will be equal to a one minus a two. Now a two a three. I can write it is equal to a two minus a three. A three a four. So I will be writing here a three minus a four. And in the same way, if I will continue writing, then I will be having a two thousand eight times a two thousand nine. This value will be equal to a two thousand eight. Minus a two thousand nine. Now let us add. So all these terms will give us s. Left hand side and right hand side minus a two plus a two minus a three plus a three minus a four plus a four minus a two thousand eight plus a two thousand eight. These intermediate terms will be cancelled out. Only two terms will be left there. It is a one minus a two thousand nine. This is our sum, and a one is given to us. It is one. So s is equal to one minus a two thousand nine. Let us write here one minus a two thousand nine. Now we have to calculate a two thousand nine. How it would be? Let me write here general formula first. So a n plus one, it is equal to a n over a n plus one. Now a one is one known to us for n is equal to zero. Now I will put n equal to one. So a one plus one, which will be equal to a two. Which will be equal to a one over a one plus one. A one is one, so I can write one over one plus one, which is nothing but half. Similarly, if I will apply n equal to two, so I will be writing two plus one here, which will be equal to a three. Then I will write here 
n equal to 2 so a2 over a2 plus 1 now a2 is half this value so i will be writing half over half plus 1 so i can write it is half over half plus 1 this is 3 by 2 so ultimately we are getting 1 over 3 a3 is 1 over 3 a2 is 1 over 2 let's calculate another value n equal to 3 so i will apply n equal to 3 so i can write here a3 plus 1 which will be equal to a4 which is equal to a3 over a3 plus 1 a3 just we have calculated it is 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3 plus 1 so i can write here 1 over 3 divided by 4 over 3 which is giving us 1 over 4 so a4 value is 1 over 4 now in the same way if i will continue for n equal to n minus 1 let me write here n minus 1 so i will be writing here a n minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to a n the general value equal to a of n minus 1 divided by a of n minus 1 plus 1 now you can see a2 is 1 by 2, a3 is 1 by 3, a4 is 1 by 4. So this way if I will write a n minus 1, the general value if I will write, then it is 1 over n minus 1. So let us apply here 1 over n minus 1 divided by 1 over n minus 1 plus 1. So this will give us ultimately 1 divided by n only. 1 plus n minus 1, so n will be left. That means a n is equal to 1 over n. So using this formula we will calculate a 2009. Let me write here s is equal to 1 minus a 2009. Now a n is equal to 1 over n. Let us plug in n equal to 2009. So I can write A 2009. This will be equal to 1 over 2009. So our sum will come out S is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2009. Now this one I can write 2009 divided by 2009 minus 1 over 2009. Now denominator is same. We have to subtract numerator from. So I will write here 2009 minus 1 divided by 2009. This is our sum S. So S will be equal to 2008 divided by 2009 and this is our final answer i hope friends you will like this video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself bye bye